All right, this is the summer release. Look at that. Bunch of cool stuff in there. So we're gonna go ahead and plant green cover seed summer release mix. I'm really excited about this seed. It's got everything in it that you could wanna plant in Southwestern Oklahoma. I believe that it's gonna be a win-win for me. We're gonna, I rented a no-till drill, a Great Plains no-till drill 1006 NT, and I'm gonna use my international tractor and we're gonna get it in. You saw this on the last video on Lab Lab, but we're gonna go ahead and get this in the ground right now and not waste any more time. I'm gonna tell you about the seed. This is a very intriguing mix that they brought together. Hubam sweet clover, sun hemp, red ripper, cow peas, mung beans, guar beans, soybeans. That covers a wide variety there for the legumes. They've added three different kinds of sorghums. And then for the forbs, impact forage collards, black will sunflowers, baldy spineless safflowers, Mencken buckwheat, and Clemson spineless 80 okra. Very, very interesting. And as always, I'll leave a link in the description to their website so you can check it out in detail. I need to add here, don't forget to inoculate your legumes. Green cover seed actually gives you inoculant with your seed when you purchase it. You simply need to inoculate your seed and it's gonna be ready to go for nitrogen fixation. We're gonna go ahead and set the grain drill up under the sorghum setting for about 30 pounds per acre. We're gonna plant it about three quarters of an inch deep. So on our last video, we planted our lab lab in two and a quarter acres of the area that we're planting here. And we're gonna go in right beside it, comb through the rest of the rye, and then plant it right through the Austrian winter peas. There's a little rye that's in there mixed in, but mostly Austrian winter peas. And man, we're gonna be good to go. Just like we did with the rye, we're gonna plant right through the Austrian winter peas. The Austrian winter peas are gonna provide a great mulch to drill into, but next year I wanna go thicker. This fall I'm gonna add hairy vetch to a mix that green cover seed has with winter peas, clovers, and cereal grains. This system is going to help preserve soil moisture, aid in weed suppression, and provide free fertilizer as it filters itself through the soil. You'll get a great look here as the tractor goes by as it's just combing through the Austrian winter peas, leaving nice little grooves there as it's laying the track of seed right through the ground. And the seed's gonna just pop up right through there, but it's so neat and interesting. This Aust these Austrian winter peas and the rye that's there, it's gonna leave residue, organic matter on the top of the soil that's gonna feed the plants that are coming up. This is a great way to farm. This is a great way to put in food plots. I'm kind of just getting started. This is only my second year to do this. And I, I'll tell you, by next year, I'm hoping that I'm gonna be exactly where I wanna be. Food plots are a lot of fun. In the comments right now, go down and let me know what kind of food plot you're working on or what you want to put in. And check out Green Cover Seed. They're an excellent company. They're knowledgeable and passionate about their product. They can really help you in your game management. They'll be an excellent resource for you. I'm going to go ahead and put down in the description a link to their website and check them out. I'm excited about putting our Milpa Garden Seed Mix in the ground. We're going to do the biggest garden we've ever done in our life. It's going to be all mixed up. Uh, you're going to have to, it's going to be like an Easter egg hunt for adults, you know, except it's food. And uh, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in there, but we got that video coming up next and I'm going to give you a follow up how this does. I'm excited to bring that to you and going to keep our fingers crossed. We've got 68 degrees soil temperature right now and hopefully it holds there. Thank you for watching the video today. Make it a great day. Go enjoy the outdoors and may God bless you.